you want a good female voice like this one and get money just by saying good words? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> We've weebified Santa. What have we done? What do we do to him? <laughs> Santa caught on. Scatter. Ah, ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. What? Yes, this is really happening. Or do you want to impersonate anyone like Mr. Beast just for the fun of it? Damn, it's me, Mr. Beast. I did this ad. But for serious, this thing is appearing non stop for a lot of people. What the fuck? Oh, any other voice. You not kin, because here I'm showing how you can set a voice changer talent, Deborah Keda, and I can use it to use any voice that you want. So now I'm gonna show you how you can install the voice changer. So first, just Google. W Okada Voice Changer Beta. Uh, there it is. Now just scroll down, put in English. Scroll down until there is a table, and then just select the model that you want. But you also have to select it in GitHub, so it doesn't really matter. But in my case, I want this one. And just select the one depending on your machine. For me, I installed this one because I have a NVIDIA GPU set up with CUDA. Just click there and there will be installed the zip file. After you download the zip file, just put it in any folder that you want and extract it. Then you'll appear something like this. Just click there, click there, and there you can actually open the program. And for opening, you just have to click on uh, start.wtts.ttp bat file. That there is. Just click there. Something like this will appear. Um, in the first time that you open, this will take a, lot, a while to open because there you'll be installing a lot of package and also you'll be installing models. But after just appear the application window right there. Also, if nothing appears, you can also assess this UI by putting this link in any web browser that you want. And it's basically it to open the program. From this point, he's just using it. So there's a lot of things to consider to use this program. There's a lot of options. Now I'm going to explain it a little, what we each of them do. First, this one is just to regulate the in and out gain of the sound. If your mic uh, captures the sound very quietly, just increase this and also if the voice is very quality out of the model just increase it after the tune this is very important basically alters the frequency of the voice if you want a higher frequency voice just put it more if you want to lower just put it less it will depend a lot on model that you're using i will show you in a little bit now the noise this is a nice filter that, that there is in built in the program. For me, I have to use them all because I am in a very noisy environment, but in general rule, you will not need to use any of them for just experiment. Now, this is the frequency algorithms detection that the program use. There's a lot of them. This is kind of experimenting and see which one is the best and more rapid. I'm not really sure what model is best, but maybe the Onyx one maybe is the one that is more lightweight. These, I'm not really sure. I'm kind of experimenting, changing these. I'm not quite see any difference. So this doesn't really matter that much. Nets. It is the uh, options for the audio. 
the input and output audio. Just select the input audio, the microphone that you're using, and then the, where you can hear the audio. For me, is the headset that I'm using. Also, the monitor, nothing really matters. Also, there's an option to record the audio, and there is some other stuff, but this doesn't, doesn't matter that much. And after, there is this option here, the chunk. This is basically the quality of the model that you're using. If you're using regulated to more higher numbers, the output will be better, but also slower. If you put in lower numbers, the output will be worse, but will be faster. You just kind of have to find a balance depending on that, of your needs. This one is the buffer size. This, you don't need to really crank it up very, very high. Just leave it there. If you find the, the output voice is cropped or something like that, just put more and experiment from there. And there, and this one is just to select the device to an run on. If I'm using the NUG Force 4070, but you can also use CPU. But this will depend a lot of the version that you install. Is and is basically this for the options. Now I'm gonna show you the model really working. So you now can use the uh, pre-select model that I'm using. It's already sounds good, but actually this model is not very good because it's actually trained on in on Japanese. If I alter this one, you can see that you alter in the frequency. You can put it in a right place. In there is already something good. And it can actually use other models. I'll show you for example. This one. Okay, now it sounds like trains. But if I increase the frequency. Let's test. Is there any sound much better? But you can hide in two cases a little. Okay, not that bad. As you can see, you 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 have, you have to find the the sweet spot to sounding good model. But this was it. Now I'm gonna show you how you can download any model that you want, and the site that you can find it. So high school. So to use any model that you want, you just have to type AVC models. For example, this one. Let's for example search for Argura, for example. Just click there and in the link is you'll download the zip file. Just wait a bit. After it's download, just transfer it for a folder. What I recommend is just create a folder to put every single model that you have. Now, just put it there. Extract it. This will take a bit. Okay. Now the model files are in this folder here. Now you can come back to the RVC, let's change Put in edits, put in upload, select file. You are already in the right folder, just click in there. In the first one, you have to put the PTH file, that is the model. And after you put the index, upload. Just put close. And there is the model. Click there to select it. And now you can start play with it. 
let's try it. Testing the model. Testing the model. Okay, let's increase the frequency. Okay, let's increase the frequency. Let's test it now. Let's test it now. Okay, it's already sounding. Okay, it's already better. sounding better. As you can see. As you can see. If you want to can decrease the delay. Decrease the. It's. Let's try it. Let's testing, try it. Testing. testing, testing. Okay, it's sounding okay, good. It's sounding good. So then you have it. The W style of voice changes in line working. So there you go. Please like and subscribe. And see ya. Bye.